Nothing without morning love They're heavy on my mind recording over and over in my head. Does God know me? Does God really know my name? It's a shame how I call on Christ in my crisis, not realizing that there's no one to blame, no one to point the finger at when my life is spinning in these many cycles. I like to think that God is somewhere watching. Because at least I get to point my finger to the sky and ask God why? Why am I chosen? to put these notions together as you look downstairs upon me, drowning in these oceans of tears. It's not fair, right? Thumbing my nose in the air, grabbing my flare gun, hoping someone sees my light. Please, God, what must I do to please God? Why must I fall on my knees, God, just to be seen, God? Has anybody seen God whenever I scream, God, you seem to leave, God? I don't believe God to be the greatest magician performing these disappearing acts. That's an obscene God, but I've seen God reappearing in my bathroom mirror, clearing the fog off the glass, made me see God just a little bit clearer. It's me, God, fully figured, standing in my power of truth, confirming all the knowledge I knew. The God you see is the God in you, dear God. Hmm, there you are. That's it, y'all. <laughs> That was dope. Black Pocket, right. give me something. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something. Uh, yeah. 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 Come on, y'all. Put your hands together. Come on. Right now, 
It's called Immature Love. Hmm. First off, I thank God for the journey. I thank God for what I've been through. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, uh, about a year and a half ago, don't feel sorry for me for what I'm about to say. I went through a miscarriage. And in the black community, it was my first time understanding what a miscarriage was. Oh, it took me 10 years to write this book, A Beautiful Disaster. And I've taken and collected all the knowledge my grandmother and aunts and all of them. They up there now, but they down here still with me. And they bless me every day with this knowledge. And that's probably why I'm 35 with so much wisdom. In this sermon, I don't know what the fuck to do with. He said, I treated him better. But hell, that came a time. I'm glad you stayed. Not knowing that you'll fix my heart and I'll fix yours. Little did I know you were slowly fixing me. Right. 